Next question, it is mentioned in the hadith of the Prophet that when the sun rises from the west, the door of Tawbah will no longer be open. How would you interpret this hadith having stated that the sun has already risen from the west? My view, my understanding of this sign of the last day, you know the ten major signs. I'm not going to test you tonight, so you get away. Number one, Dajjal. Number two, Gog and Magog. Number three, the return of the son of Mary. Number four, Dukhan, smoke. Number five, the battle out, the creature, the beast of the land. Number six, that the sun would rise from the west. Number seven, eight and nine, three, Khusuf, plural of Khas, an earthquake, shaking of the earth and sinking down. One in the east, one in the west and the third one in Arabia, you had one in Taman Sri UK a few years ago. Hmm? And number 10, that the fire will come out of Yemen and drive people to the place of assembly. This one about the sun rising from the west. I am getting lots of emails, so many from people who are presenting so much sophisticated argument concerning polar magnetism and providing evidence that one day the earth is going to stop spinning in the direction it is now spinning and it's going to spin in the opposite direction. I am not stopping you from having that view. That's your choice. It is just that I differ with you. Am I not allowed to differ? Huh? Even if 999 out of every 1000 hold the view that the sun is literally going to rise from the west one day. That's their view. Why can't I have my view? And I am not interested in all of this polar magnetism arguments. It's irrelevant to me. All things are possible with Allah. He is fa'alul lima yurid. But my primary source of guidance is the Quran. And so it is to the Quran you must turn if you want to convince me. The Quran informs me that the sun rises from the east. The Quran says so. That the sun rises from the east. It does in Malaysia, doesn't it? From the east. Yeah, okay. And the Quran further tells us La tabila li khalqillah That there is no change in Allah's creation. So nature is uniform. And so, a literal understanding of this hadith would be in conflict with the Qur'an. This is my opinion. I don't see why I should not be entitled to have my opinion. You can differ with me, I don't mind. What about Tawbah? I said that the sun is already rising from the west. The hadith is speaking about a false sunrise. The true sunrise from the east is Allah's sunrise. And the false sunrise from the west is Dajjal's sunrise. So where do we see a Dajjal's sunrise from the west? I say Dajjal's sunrise from the west is modern western civilization. Modern Western civilization shines like a sunrise that there's never been in history. It is absolutely unique. There's never been anything in history comparable to modern Western civilization. 
And the only way I can explain modern Western civilization is by accepting that the Jal is the architect. That it has risen from the West and it constitutes a false sunrise and that this is the fulfillment of the prophecy of the ten signs of the last day. That the door of Toba should be closed this is a more difficult one. My view, and I can be wrong, is that Allah, Allah's messenger is not talking about Tawbah for all of mankind. In Akhiru Zaman, one people stand out. One people. And they are Banu Israel. And they have consistently said, they will not appear before Allah on Judgment Day singly for judgment. No. We know that we will go for judgment one by one. Each person singly. But Banu Israel says, no, we are the chosen people of Allah. And so we are going to be judged as a people not as individual Jews and as a people will get salvation and as a people will all enter into Jannah so it is as a people that the door to Tawbah is now closed for you and now Tawbah is available only for individuals not for the community and Allah knows best 